everybody this is your quick astrology for the week of march the 4th through the 10th so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the sun the sun is in pisces okay so that means that you are going to be less motivated to do and more to dream you will be in a very dreamy state imagining um, more into your feelings during this time um, actually between the first and the 19th give or take the 20th okay on the 6th of this month Venus goes into Aries sorry I'm looking at my calendar so <laughs> Venus goes into the air into Aries and be careful about making quick decisions in love this is a time where um, you're gonna be quick to get into relationships that are just based on sex um, based on passion you're gonna be very flirty lots of short-term things can happen um, this is also a time where love at first sight can happen a lot okay so I'm gonna pull a card about this Venus in Aries and you got the nine of pentacles so you're definitely thinking about yourself solely okay how you feel what makes you feel good what you want at that particular moment okay because you feel stable within yourself this is a time where a lot of confidence is going to be uh involved Ooh, be careful about going back into situations that you're not going to win just for that one moment of excitement okay so be careful about that okay because that can cause some challenging some challenging situations for you um, just to feel that one moment or think that there may be an opportunity or, of for love so be careful with that because this is a time where you are definitely focused on your desires and sexuality okay so on the ninth of this month Jupiter is going retrograde and that has to do with opposites in your life okay this is a time where you think is this really what I want right because this is a time where you figure out that opposites in your life help you with progression it creates balance within relationships with things that you do it may not be what you wanted before but there's something about it that's going to be intriguing and it's going to help you grow spiritually during this time okay so this is a good time to use your fears to build better or stronger foundations for yourself what are your fears trying to teach you okay what are they trying to show you what have you been holding on to due to your fears that you can now express you have the world ahead of you and this knowledge is going to help you get everything you need so you can follow your destiny the wheels of destiny will turn once you start facing those fears and see what they can do to help you okay and help you move forward so that is your brief astrology and now we'll move on to your tarot readings Thank you for listening. Hello, this is Amber with Labs and Sync Tarot. This is your weekly reading for March the 4th through the 10th. Okay, um, so we're going to start with the element of air. And uh, that is the sign of Gemini first. Okay, so spirit. What do you have for Gemini for the week of March 4th through 10th? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Okay, let me turn this down. I feel like my music is really loud. Okay. Gemini K 
Okay, so your overall energy is the nine of wands in reverse, okay? So, the nine of wands in reverse talks about you not fighting for something, okay? It's like you're giving up on something. Um, right under that, you have the nine of cups in reverse. A lot of the, actually all of your cards are in reverse. So it looks like to me that you're giving up on contentment. You're giving up on, I feel like you're not getting what you want, so you're giving up. This is really interesting because both of these are nines and they talk about endings. It feels like you're super distracted from your goals and you're just walking away from something. There's something I feel like you should put time and effort into, but you're walking away from it. Okay? Alright, just saying. So next you have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? I mean, sorry, the Page of Pentacles. See? Nines, endings, completions, okay? Um, I feel like you're not learning. This is very interesting because I feel like you're choosing to stay within yourself so you're not learning the lessons that you're supposed to learn you're not going out and exploring what spirit has for you right it's interesting because next to that you have the will of fortune in reverse okay and this will of fortune in reverse is telling me that you're you know that there are things that you should do but you're not doing them and you're just chalking them up as it being not meant for you you know, like, oh, well, I guess this isn't going to happen. That's what you're doing, okay? Now, you're pushing your emotions down, I feel, but they're trying to teach you something. They're trying to show you something, okay? <coughs> the High Priestess came up in reverse because secrets are revealed to you. This talks about you being in the know. You're in the know about... Um, what could be a, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It's like the truth about maybe that person has come out to you. Um, and that's as much truth as you have. I feel like you're trying to gather your emotions about what happened with this person or some truth that may have came out. Okay. Underneath the page of pentacles, you have the page of wands in reverse. Um, there is happiness to be had, okay? But what's interesting is I feel like you're more finding it within yourself, okay? You're not going out. You're not venturing out because you're afraid that not only that this may happen again, but also that you're going to make foolish moves or that there isn't going to be... A direction you're it's like this is a very pessimistic week for you Gemini you have the ten of cups in reverse it's very interesting because it feels like you're fighting against all of these new things and you're choosing to walk away from them because you don't want to fight for it or you're afraid to come out of yourself it's like you're trying to control things so much that you're not going to to go for what you want you're chalking it up as bad luck that's what you're doing but you could turn all of this around and I'm going to tell you why because they're all in reverse they're all in reverse because you could switch all of this around right you have the five of wands in reverse that talks about that inner conflict. So all you have to do is make those changes. Make those changes and not keep going down the same route and actually see what is being, is trying to be shown to you. It's like you know. It's like you know. Oh my gosh. What's going on with you, Gemini? What is going on with you? I'm going to pull some more cards. I'm going to pull a couple more cards, actually. And let's see what you get. Yeah. 
the three of cups in reverse and the ten of cups in the upright There may be a third party situation that you're trying to seek away from. Uh, I'm thinking that maybe there's a water sign that did a number on you, okay? That being Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. There's some third party situation that really did a number on you, Gemini. That's what it feels like. It feels like something really did a number on you and you're just trying to protect yourself. But you have to move forward. Oh my God, look at this. So then came out the Knight of Wands and the Empress. This talks about if you move forward in the direction that you want to go in and stop thinking so much and being driven by your passion, there is the Empress there. There's something abundance. There's growth. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to pull this Oracle card for you. I feel like I can't say it any more than that. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but replace it with the insight of awareness. You do have awareness, okay? The high priestess came up in reverse. The high priestess is here, which lets me know that all you have to do is turn around and see the awareness. But for some reason, you're in denial because of your fear, okay? The thing is, when you know something, you have to act on it. You have to, you know, like you can't act like, oh, well, I didn't know. I didn't know what was going to happen. Mm. You can't do that once you become aware of something. It's going to eat away at you. I'm just saying, OK, so next we have Libra. OK, spirit. What do you have for Libra for March 4th through 10th? What would you like them to be aware of, pay attention to at this time? Libra on the bottom of your deck you have the Hierophant okay um, this talks about your rules conformity is actually what I'm hearing so you're conforming to what you know to be your truth because underneath that you have the Queen of Swords <clears throat> so you're conforming to what you know to be your truth, what you're perceiving to be truth. OK, so so you're just moving in that. That's what it says. OK, but the Hierophant also brings a warning of of being too structured in your conformity, looking at it as religion. You know, your rules, your morals as religion and not allowing them space to flex around life. OK, <clears throat> and <coughs> ooh, sorry. And this could cause problems as far as you flowing in going within the flow of things. OK, so you have the seven of wands in reverse. And this talks about you being distracted. This talks about you not fighting for something out of fear or <clears throat> thinking of what others may say. 
But it's very interesting because underneath that you have the nine of wands. There's something more that you need to do. But you're in fear of something. And this has to do with structure. This has to do with you building foundations, whether it's in love or career. Um, <clears throat> you need to actually fight for this, but you're not fighting for it. There's still more that needs to be done, but it's like you can't... You need to make that call for yourself. You need to make that judgment for yourself. There could be someone in your life, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, because of the, all of the wands. You also have the seven of pentacles. <clears throat> and this talks about working towards something. It's like you're waiting to see what this will produce. It looks to be a love offer coming into your life with the Knight of Cups, okay? But it feels very childish to you. It feels very, um, not on a whim, but kind of fantasy-like. And you're not very keen on it. <clears throat> and you're waiting to see what will happen. I feel like you feel like it's coming in really fast. Like, that energy is coming in fast, um, and, but whoever this person is, they, why does it feel manipulating? You think that they're manipulating you. <clears throat> And this is what causes you not to like fight for this or not to stand up for it because something feels weird. That's why you're waiting to see what pans out. You're definitely holding on. This is the four of pentacles. So you're definitely holding on to what you have. You're holding on to your thoughts. You're holding on to what you've built. You're not letting this person <clears throat> get in. Fear of things happening again. This could be the same person or a different person just you don't want a situation mimicked um, fear that things will happen again but this tells me that you have a choice there is a bond here an entanglement with the lovers card like you feel like you all are meant um, there <clears throat> there's something you want <clears throat> to excuse me there's something you want to nurture here there's something worth nurturing and you feel it um, you also feel restless to like start something because of that, because of all the love that's coming in. But I really see you waiting to see what is going to happen here. There, there definitely is going to be a love offer if you're waiting or there has already been one. Um, but it just feels manipulating to you because it, it it has that Knight of Cups energy. So it feels very in and out. It feels very flowy. It feels very, um, I want to be with you forever. We can dance on clouds, you know, kind of energy. And this is what's help making you <clears throat> stand up for yourself because of fear of this going south. And you're not, I feel like you're not feeling that. <clears throat> you don't want that to happen. Okay, Libra. You have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Cups in the upright. Okay? You may be dealing with business or home because things aren't going very well or very perfect, okay? And <clears throat> you're distracted by the fact that you need to focus on that or that that is more important than focusing on this um, energy. I feel like you're busy trying to make dreams come true. You're busy trying to build for yourself and this just isn't... I don't want to say it isn't important, but you're focused on a loss of something. And I feel like you just don't have time to look at love or focus on at love or 
whatever this is that is trying to be offered to you. You have purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Like I said, I really feel like you're focused on that. You're focused on what it is that you're trying to build, what it is that you want for yourself, like for the future, like your life, you know? You're trying to regain some stuff, and this just isn't in your top priority, okay? I heard you trying to balance some scales. That's funny. Okay. So last but not least, we have Aquarius. Let me just shuffle these cards. Sorry, they're fairly new. I've been waiting for these cards for a long time, guys. I'm so happy to get them, so you're probably going to see them a lot, just so you know. They are like, the first time I seen them, I bonded with them on the internet, so I'm just saying. You're probably going to see them a lot. Okay, Spirit. What do you have for Aquarius for March 4th through 10th? What would you like them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? Aquarius, I feel like your ultimate goal this week is trying to find happiness or a new beginning in something that feels scattered to you. Your overall card is the Eight of Cups and it actually came up in the upright. So this talks about you walking away from something. Um, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, it could talk about a codependent energy. It could talk about a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, but I feel like you're walking away from something that emotionally didn't serve you. Um, I feel like instead of wallowing in shoulda, coulda, wouldas, you are making action. Um, or it's time to get out of that shoulda, coulda, woulda energy, okay, and take some action. But it's time for you to move towards things that make you more happy, situations that make you more happy, areas of your life that make you happy. We're starting here with the Seven of Cups in reverse, and this talks about you getting out of confusion. Why? Because it's time. There are going to be things happening in your life that's going to push you towards, sorry, <laughs> that are going to push you towards that those uh, movements of doing things for yourself. It's time for you to do that. Why? Because with the Ten of Wands, you have lots of burdens. And I feel like you've been holding on to something, wanting something to change, making it all your priority, and you're going to stop doing that, okay? Because you're making the decision to either let spirit move things on its own and not be a part of it but I feel like you're stepping out of it physically and emotionally not physically but more emotionally okay you have the ace of swords and I feel like you come to some sort of knowledge about how to balance that and that balance is letting go of all of these burdens letting go of it being your solid responsibility this may have to do with a three-party relationship this may also have to do with um, you just being unhappy with a particular situation, family, friends, uh, people in your life, the way things are headed. It could be anything with this card being in reverse. But I feel like you're listening to your intuition now about letting things uh, be as they will and stop trying to put your hand in it to, to mold things the way you want it to. There you are. You're letting go of the conflict. 
it's done you're making the changes you are starting a new path with yourself that new path involves temperance moderation i feel like you're stepping out of it you're stepping out of it because you need a new beginning what you've been doing hasn't been working so you're tearing it down and starting anew you know like whatever you got to do you're walking away from some things okay beautiful i'm gonna pull two more cards for you aquarius you have the empress in reverse and the sun in the upright so this tells me that you weren't you weren't getting the perfection that you wanted. You weren't getting the happiness, the abundance. Nothing was growing. I feel like when this card is in reverse to me, it feels very heavy. Um, it feels very heavy in the upright, but in a different direction. But in the in the reverse, it feels heavy in the way that it wasn't helping you. It wasn't helping you grow. You weren't getting anything from it. What is the point, right? So the sun enlightens that. It enlightens and illuminates that area when it's when it's next to something it illuminates that area so it showed you the fact that you weren't getting abundance in that way of doing things or you weren't happy there so that's why that eight of cups came up because you're making that change okay and I feel like it's going to change everything for the better because you're doing that now you're listening to to you know your instincts and spirit about what it is that you should do and they're going to move you forward balance it says i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment there it is you're not i feel like with this card it talks about not blaming others but just making the moves for yourself you're doing this for you not because of somebody else, not because you didn't leave me with any options, because you know what's best for you. Why? No growth. No growth. Okay? So thank you so much for listening. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Link's in the description box below. I will see you next week. I love you. Love and light. Bye-bye.